The local music scene here, um, it's tremendous. It's tremendous where we're at right now. The amount of like passion in this city of, of art and music and just like just raw talent is really amazing to see. No. so many opportunities, especially in Fort Collins, to see music and to see live music. We've got hundreds of bands. We've got handfuls of great venues and live music that happens everywhere. We sort of pack it in every nook and cranny. Fans of music is really what got us into the Fort Collins music scene. And so I feel that there has been a community here for a very long time. I feel that it has just been unearthing layers of what that community is over the the last 10 years of what my existence has been in the music industry in Fort Collins. Come on, sing for love. Sing for peace. For unity. For harmony. Come on, band, let's back them up. Hey, I said The Fort Collins music scene is more integrated into the city than I've ever seen anywhere else. You can just see that there's a love of our Fort Collins music scene from the elected officials and from the leadership inside the city all the way down to the staff inside the city. How do you create an environment that's compelling to people that people want to be in? We have to give them a number of things to do and the music scene, arts, culture, those sorts of things are all important in creating an environment where people want to be. Wouldn't it be great if Fort Collins was like Austin or Fort Collins was like New Orleans? But the really cool thing is Fort Collins is Fort Collins. Like, you know, we have so many people that work really hard in such a supportive community that we're able to have music out in the forefront and have so many people out and enjoying it. don't know any local artists or bands from Fort Collins. I know one band, and that's about it. I listen to local music a lot, um, not as much as I should. So I originally discovered the Fort Collins scene when I started taking guitar lessons when I was younger. Still to this day, one of my favorite local bands is The Symbols, and he was my guitar teacher. That's like my favorite band to this day, and he does a lot of rock and funk and blues and I think that's it's awesome. I'd say that the music scene is important to my friends uh, but it's less local. I know what I like and I guess I'm a little bit wary about pushing out and seeing like the local stuff because maybe it's not good maybe it's bad. It takes some effort to find music that you really like and that you enjoy but it also takes effort to just I mean just find any music that's especially local music. Local music, I find I like the experience of being there better because we can sit in our rooms all day and listen to Beyonce or anything. But in my past experience, I've always had the most fun at shows that I'm able to just walk into. And that's how I end up finding the artists that I like the most. My style of music is kind of like psychedelic, uh, progressive, experimental, whatever you want to call it.
really kind of intense and it's it's awesome and I, I, there's a lot of local bands around here that are really good there's whole fast uh, savage cabbage blue taboo i would say i could find my kind of music in the local music scene if i really was looking i bet that i mean fort collins is it's a bigger town that wants to stay small so i bet that i could find something at my speed a lot more people like me. That's how I kind of got into this whole thing is I met one person who was into it. And then we we go downtown and we go we go to the artery and then I meet three other people like that. And then they introduce me to more people like that. And it's it's an entire scene and now I know a lot of people that go to these shows all the time, know the bands, talk to the bands, are part of the bands. And I think that's that's a really cool experience. If the people that are there enjoy the music and love the music and there's a kind of following towards those music scenes and those bands, then it's definitely easier to get into it because it's like you feel the love kind of thing. So it's easier to get into it that way because it's like, oh my gosh, I love this band. You should totally come with me. And then it's like, oh yeah, okay. You know? I think that if my friends were in the music scene, like the local music scene, I definitely would be a lot more into it. From the times that I've gone to see this local music, I always kind of report back to my friends and tell them about it, invite them to the like, different events that they're having and then that's how they end up discovering the music as well. And I think that's how people end up becoming so big, is it, it's a chain reaction. So I think high schoolers have a lot of power that they may not realize too, in, in the way that the popularity component plays into music. Carry farther on down the track. I think that as time moves on, people are starting to realize how important it is to um, communicate with the youth, and the youth are understanding that it's important to be involved in what is going on for their future. I have an issue with um, the fact that like a lot of music places here serve alcohol. And I think the music scene relies a lot, especially here just because it's a college town, relies a lot on the sale of alcohol to get people to come. Some people who are younger and in high school like really value music because it's one of the only things that people can really connect to. Having that kind of not really taken away but the opportunity not really there is hard because it's like I want to go there with my older sister or, you know, my older friends, but I can't, I can't get in. Almost every venue is a bar with a large enough room for people to stand in. Um, some places actually have a stage that happen to have a bar in it. We don't have a ton of venues like other music cities have. We have businesses, and so a lot of those businesses rely on bar sales. Unfortunately, we can't function like Hody's to where I have the booking power to bring in uh, nationally touring things and then you know, make money off more expensive tickets and things like that. Uh, we're pretty much, if we do have a cover and it's not a free show, 100% of the money goes to the band. Alcohol sales are a huge driving force behind a lot of venues. If a show doesn't do as well ticket sales wise as expected, one can still count on the bar sales being you know, pretty fruitful. Um, and the markup generally with alcohol anyway is insane, so there's a lot of profit to be made. I think alcohol is a very important thing though because people want to go see music, they want to drink, they want to let loose. In the music scene there's just so much connectivity between alcohol and music. <laughs> you know, for a lot of bands it's just part of their lifestyle and for a lot of networking opportunities there's usually drinks involved. But I wouldn't say that the only reason why the music industry exists here is because of alcohol. I don't think that music is an alcohol sales tool. I think that anywhere that you put music, it's going to amplify the, what you're doing. So certainly if you're a venue that has alcohol for sale, mu having live music is going to bring people in who then will buy your alcohol. Yes. Yes. 
but I, I think it works the same way if you're a church that brings music into your service, music does the exact same thing. I personally don't think that the two um, are you know, linked. I think you can have a music scene without it being predicated on alcohol sales. Uh, and I think it can be very, very vibrant. I think the alcohol sales are only an impact if you let it be. Work around that, figure out how to do different things and be successful without the alcohol sales being a factor. We won't play venues that are 21 plus in hometown because our audience is primarily younger. Traditional venues, how they're dealing with some of the underage listeners is obviously putting an X on their hand or charging an additional $5 at the door for the ticket price if you're under 21. If you're 21 and you can get in for 10 bucks and I'm not and I have to get in for 15, I think I would still go because I have the chance to go now. And it's still, it's $15, not 40, 50, 60, $70, you know? So if, even if people who are 21 are paying less than I am, if I still get to go and enjoy that experience and have fun, then I think it's worth it. For the most part, I see it working with those happy mediums where there's alcohol and all ages allowed. I haven't really seen at our shows, like at the Marquee or at Hody's, really any issues with people trying to sneak drinking or, or underage people getting like carted out or tossed out or things like that. It's pretty rare, I feel. We're not going out to get drunk and then forget about what we were doing that night. We're not going out to get high and then forget about what we were doing that night or have it alter the experience. I think we want to feel the experience and be with people. I think, I think that's a big part of it is we get to interact with these bands and we get to interact with each other and then the other people at the venue. We need to communicate. We need to have these lines of communication because I want to understand the level that you're on and, and the frequency where you're at and the things that you're thinking about because I might not be seeing it and it might just be a difference of being able to look at you and then just taking it a slight twitch to the right and seeing a different view. When you see a local band, you get to meet them, you get to talk to them and it's, it's like seeing yourself in a way. I want to connect with you just as much as you want to connect with me, but I want to learn from you and I think that you want to learn as well. Yo, 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 what's cracking, Fort Collins? Our community has chosen to grow together, and that's huge. Um, and it's not for self gain. It seems that it's more of a community gain that people genuinely want to see each other succeed. One of the great things about having sort of a really connected and well-networked music scene in Fort Collins is that we get to have these conversations about what is the right a mix of over 21 bar alcohol-led, you know, focused venues versus venues that are um, safe and approachable for all ages audiences. And what kind of spaces do we want to have as, as a town? I think it's hugely important to uh, pass on art uh, to the younger generation and to have a, a safe space where, where kids can go and uh, you know learn about art and learn about that scene and get their feet into it and encourage kids to to want to create art, want to create music. I think that's hugely important. Talent is and people are a major input into our economy these days. Well, people are now particularly in the younger generations, mine and younger, are making the choice about where they want to live, more based on it fitting their sort of personal interests and their pastime, and less about where the employment opportunities are. And so that's creating an environment in which employers are following talent. When you look at designing all of these features of your community and taking a map of what's out there, um, ultimately you need to to think about having spaces that are just 100% geared towards and accessible for an all ages crowd. You need to have uh, something that, you know, essentially invites youth in to participate in making their own scene. When the blues of take on rock right out here. Going out and talking to people who know what's going on and who are aware of what's going on and are conscious of what's going on is the most important thing you can do. Because after that, you can support yourself in that right and you can be supportive of everybody else who's in that scene 
from there on without the help of other people. And then you can be the person to say, hey, you're not in the local music scene, listen to this band. This is what's gonna change your mind. And then again, it's the snowball effect. I really value being in a town that has those sort of things, even though we do have such a bustling downtown drinking scene, uh, being a college town that still has things for all ages to, to help foster that next generation. If there was like a, um, a designed area in, in the town that was for music and for people who wanted to enjoy music, then it could kind of spread throughout the entire place. The city has really shown some strong leadership um, on the investment side in what we do here culturally. We have an industry cluster grant program which allows for a competitive process for folks to uh, bring us their ideas and get funding. There are five adopted clusters in Fort Collins the City Council approved. Clean energy, water innovation, bioscience, technology, which is really chip design, enterprise software, and then my favorite, uniquely Fort Collins. It's sort of the special sauce piece uh, and cluster. And this is where um, we talk a lot about the three B's in Fort Collins. Bikes, bands, beer. These are all craft industries. They're all craft, they have, so they have craftsmanship in them. They're more creative in nature. Um, and so we do a lot to support um, that space. You know, we're even exploring, uh, this year we're doing a partnership with the Music District, right, which is um, a program to, to, to really support emerging artists, particularly, you know, in the music industry and help them gain the expertise they need to be successful, not just at music, but at the business of music. The Fort Collins music scene is at a moment of huge opportunity to make a decision about what we want our future to be. And there are more people than ever engaged in that conversation and, and trying to build that future with intention. So we have all of these really strong grassroots organizations and initiatives and projects and festivals um, and nonprofits that have cropped up uh, in support of and led by our music scene. And now uh, you're starting to see uh, those units come together to sort of build even bigger forces of influence. So I think it's really important to be able to influence the younger people to come out and become regular showgoers like a lot of the overage people here. I guess it's important for people who enjoy music and like music and are inspired or you know it really reaches them and they go this is something that I love and identify with then to go out pay the five bucks and get that interaction. When I'm paying to go see somebody I want it to be a really intimate concert. I, I want to make eye contact and I want to know that you know they see the support and that they're putting the effort in. But to go see them in person even on a small scale especially the small scale because that's when bands really need that support and love in their hometown, you know? And if you know the person just going out and, you know, just being there, a body in the crowd is like so important. It's something that I think every band has to consider is, is their content, A, suitable for these demographics? B, is it a message that we should be pushing to the youth? and see if that was your kid, in a sense, like, is that what you would want them to be experiencing? So from an artist standpoint, you have to kind of consider all of that and, and really cater towards your real core competency and your core fans and listeners. On the other end, you, you have to foster curiosity in young music fans to go out and seek out those local music connections. I think that that's important for public schools and really all schools in general to kind of teach their kids and their students how to love art and appreciate it in a way that isn't just face value. I think the challenge is for each generation to continue um, wanting to learn, wanting to understand the people around them regardless of the age factor. Explore it, get out of your bubble. It's, it's just a matter of allowing yourself to go, go see these. That's, that's a part of the entire experience, I think, is going to see these bands physically is, is my favorite part of this. That's, that's what I recommend to everybody because that's the most amazing part of it, is being able to be there. We have the ability to continue to be great 
not just through creation of mass production, but just be great as being people and understanding our feelings and our emotions. So a way that we're able to do that is through music. So I think that's the biggest thing we can do is share the music we listen to with other people because music is a language and it's meant for sharing.